Now that we have the variables understood from the wire feeder side, let's go to the make gun slash torch side to look at how we can control the seven essential variables now on the work end, starting with contact tip to work distance. 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 Contact tip to work distance is the distance from the contact tip surface to the very edge of the surface of my wire. In this case, you can see in the example, this is how far my contact tip to work distance is. I can also vary that by my hand movements in and out. I can increase my contact tip to work distance and I can decrease my contact tip to work distance. This has a different effect if I'm using pulse. The only thing that becomes an issue is shielding gas coverage but it really is important in CV welding where I'm in a constant voltage process. My variation of this stick out is going to cause my power input to change greatly. Experienced welders are gonna be able to understand to use that for root passes and things like that where they can actually decrease their power, increase their power based on this movement. But really contact tip to work distance is my ability to control this distance here and maintain it consistently throughout the entire weld without too much variation in my up and down movements, very much so when I'm in constant voltage mode. Here with contact tip to work distance, we can see with all the variables being left consistently and just changing the contact tip to work distance really greatly increases and decreases the amount of resistance in the circuit, increasing or decreasing the amount of amperage that we can put into it. You can see in the example, the change in the weld profile, just by us varying that stick out up and down or the values are also increase and decrease with amperage. Stickout is able to control the amount of resistance in that circuit.